And we are live one more day for CSI Get Inspired. The creator's source of inspiration is what we love to bring to you. Just a, a few minutes out of your day, morning, evening, to uplift you. And today we have a special guest. We have Carrie. Carrie Ashenway. She is a guest for today. But she's also a special guest for us for our up and coming summit on the 23rd through the 25th. And she will be speaking to you about opening to wisdom. So, Carrie, welcome. And everybody by now should know my beautiful co host, Sandy Scar. Okay, <laughs> which Sandy and I will be being presenters, and we also have another special guest for what is coming up on our summit as well, but you're going to have to stay tuned for that one. So, Carrie, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, we'd love to have you, and we're very privileged that you are here. And so we always love to ask, what is inspiration to you? Um, inspiration to me is being able to sit in spirit, to be connected to the divine. It's that place of harmony. It's that place of uh, peace where, you know, all creative ideas start flowing, ways in which, um, yeah. <laughs> I understand sometimes it's uh, it's outrageously indescribable and mm -hmm. but how does it make you feel when you personally become inspired what sensations happen what emotions happen because our goal here is to expand people's perspectives on what inspiration can be Inspiration um, is when I feel really joyful, really in harmony. I my creative juices start flowing. Um, Do you feel all spider tingly when it happens? Do you feel giddy? Do you feel sometimes just laughing out loud? And uh, not to put you on the spot here, which <laughs> I am, <laughs> but at the same time, you know. People have different uh, visceral um, experiences when they get inspired to the point where they don't even recognize that it's inspiration that just hit them yet. So that's why we like to share that part as well. So I feel really open. I feel really lighthearted and like I like to dance. Um, there you go. Yeah, my heart's really open. Uh, I feel very connected to everything around me the birds singing, the tree, you know, the trees dancing in the wind. The oh, beautiful. would that also happen to be because you happen to have a shamanistic practice? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's when I'm deeply connected to nature and to the stars and to the earth. And, you know, inspiration can flow to me through the beauty of a sunset or a sunrise watching the birds sing, seeing the clouds. Yes, and, and, it, and it, it, it's oh. very lofty and freeing. Yeah, and it's usually, you know, it doesn't come from the place of my mind. It comes from the place of my heart. It's when I'm in my heart that I'm truly inspired. It, perfect. It's, it's when I set that mind out of the way. And step into that heart space, start seeing through heart eyes. Oh, I love that heart eyes. Oh, I absolutely love that. Because when you are in the head trying to like grab something like that, it is actually linear thinking. And there is a strong disconnect to connection to yourself and to source and to spirit. And so, yes, and that's why we call this creator source of inspiration because it is about the connection here 
Yeah. Um, when the, yeah. when my mind gets involved, it gets small, 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 and it's all about yesterday and tomorrow and not being in the present moment. And when I'm inspired, I'm definitely in the present moment, noticing what's going on around me, noticing how I feel being more in the connection up and downward rather than side to side. Have a new nurse. Gotta have it. <laughs> Sandy, how do you have a recent inspiration to share? Yeah, I sure do. I am inspired by nature like Carrie. And when my aunt passed away recently, I spent a lot of time in nature, just amongst the trees, the grass, the birds, the flowers, just listening and feeling. You know? um, and like Carrie shared, that the inspiration does come from your heart. And when I'm centered and am aligned with the universe, that's when I receive my messages and my um, information information and that's what carries me through the grief is that inspiration and while you may not think mm -hmm. of grief as inspiration it is inspiring because from grief we move into beauty and we move into memories and that's where my aunt would want me to be so that's what I've done recently is just spend more time in nature. That is absolutely wonderful. And that is why you were not with us um, the last show on the fourth. And so, you know, my heart is always with you through that, through that journey of the journey you went through with your aunt. And thank you for that really personal share. But I also want to, okay, so getting ready for the summit. Okay, I have been more pulled in the linear capacity, trying to get things done. But even as you do that, you can become inspired because my goal for my speakers is to be able to really help them get the connection of what would really enrich their lives as to what their real purpose is and what they're out there to do for you. And especially for you, the audience, what we can bring to you. And working with that, I actually got inspired of how to do a form, a linear form that would make things easier and save them so much time that they then would have a future database to work with in a very specific way and they could track. But that too was inspiration. So it does come in all forms. So we're not gonna discount that. And I just wanted to throw that little tidbit in there. And Carrie, is there a moment an inspirational moment, whether it was a personal one or a client that you've had that really comes to mind at the moment that you'd like to share? Well, what inspires me truly throughout my day is um, my practice with my clients. And they all inspire me in their own unique ways because it takes a lot of courage for people to stop and to become still oh really absolutely. you know when we stop and we become still we're able to look at things and it takes a lot of courage to take a look at those places that are feeling constricting and binding and things that are holding us back mm -hmm. and to be able to wrap our arms of love around them and release them and really step into that place of, you know, inspiration and intuition. Okay, and but how about a specific situation? <laughs> I want something specific for the audience that they can. Yeah, read. so, you know, um, there is one that 
um, comes to mind at the present moment. And it was one of my clients who was a teenage girl and she had a lot of illness um, and un was unable to partake in life the way that teenagers would be able to partake in life. And um, she struggled with a lot of medical issues and uh, she was courageous enough to look back and look at things in a different perspective and do some work around that, which became some of the groundwork in that like co-creative thing with the medicine doctors, our Western medicine doctors and being able, um, you know, she had some experiences that had her drop out of college and in doing her work, she was able to return to college, get her degree. She started to intern now and um, still do, dealing with some health issues. Some of them are diagnosed. Some of them are still, you know, the doctors don't seem to know what's wrong. Um, but, you know, she's able to take the shamanic work and the practices and really integrate them into practical purpose. Her, uh, purposeful things in her life to be able to dance with all that she has to dance with. That is so fantastic. She is truly a heroine in her own life. And that is extremely inspiring that the kind of challenges, they can be anything. They can be physical, emotional. They can be from the mental state. They can be from environment. They can be from anything. Everybody has forms of challenges, but it's what do you do with them? Do you have the courage to embrace what is happening and listen so you can change it around? and have something really good come of it and that is absolutely oh my god my heart goes out to her and your work absolutely um, she's such an inspiration to her, you know to me and to everyone else around her and these are the type of things i see with my clients where the magic happens and see them really blossom and step into their lives is like you know, makes my heart sing. It, Absolutely. For you know. all of us, when we work with our clients and our students, um, to see them unfold into a bigger, more expanded, more fulfilling life. I mean, that is what inspires us to keep doing what we're doing regardless and why we love to come to you. But on that note, we do have a little caveat for you, for those that would love to send us an inspiring story, whether it's personal or someone you know, and you don't divulge something that you're not allowed to, which is perfectly fine. But as you submit those, we will be selecting some of those stories to air with your permission, of course. And as we go throughout the year, We'll be taking more and more submissions and we will be doing a raffle and selecting a few of these wonderful stories that don't have to be outrageous, by the way, just from that intent and that heart of inspiring. And they will be selected to go into my next book that I'm writing my second one right now. And this your story could be selected to be published and you would be published helping so many more people that you never get a chance to meet and that is the purpose of the books that i do write with spirit and so the one out right now is let's be clear so let's get back to <laughs> wrapping this up just a little bit for our audience because oh Thank you, Sandy. And there it is. Let's be clear. And yes, that is like a portal through a crystal. And there is a rainbow on the other side. 
And you will learn a lot more about that when you come to the summit on the 23rd, 24th, and 25th, because they all build on one another each evening. It's 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. After uh, this plays out below, I will be putting the links for everything. So you'll be well informed. And so please come and join us and share the event with friends. This will be the third one Sandy and I are giving. And we've had such beautiful things open up for people. And that's our goal. It's always our goal to be inspiring to you, to connect, to help you connect, to help you discover, to help you uncover, to help you move forward, to help you align, to help you be in balance, and to help you have a very fulfilling life. So with all those adjectives, <laughs> I would love to thank Carrie very much. You are going to want to hear her talk. In fact, Carrie, can you give us just a little snippet about your talk on Monday evening, the 23rd? I will be talking about faith and opening to the wisdom of your heart. That's all you're going to give them? Yes, that's <laughs> all I'm going to give you. But okay, you guys, know, that's as far a as our topic today on inspiration you know i'd i'd like to give that you know to be inspired we have to quiet ourselves and instead of being in the doing mode um and talking mode it's more the receptive mode and the allowing things to come in allowing the beauty that's around us allowing our internal beauty to be heard i love that that is so beautiful yeah. thank you for sharing that with us, Carrie. So we thank all of you that were able to be here live for us today. And for those that will watch the replays because we will have them posted on our YouTube channels and you will get the links below. And please, every first and third Thursday at noon Eastern Standard Time, Sandy and I will be here live, sometimes just me, sometimes just Sandy. We will sometimes have special guests like beautiful Carrie, or sometimes we won't have guests. Sometimes we have partners that come up and it runs anywhere between about 20 minutes, maximum 40 minutes, depending on what spirit is guiding us to speak to you about today, because there is always somebody out there that whatever words that we speak, because we're guided by spirit, that they're meant to reach you. And that is an honor and a privilege of our position. So we thank you from our hearts, and we wish you the most blessed day and rest of the weekend. Until the summit, don't forget to register and bring a friend. We can't wait to have you. Take care. <laughs>